Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert between kilometers and meters. So kilometers to meters and then meters to kilometers. Now one very important thing to keep in mind, one kilometer equals 1,000 meters. Let's jump into number one where we have three kilometers equals how many meters? Well, each kilometer is 1,000 meters. So we have 1,000 meters, 1,000 meters, and then 1,000 meters. In other words, three times 1,000. That gives us 3,000. So three kilometers equals 3,000 meters. So when we convert from kilometers to meters, we multiply by 1,000. Let's move on to number two, where we have 12 and a half or 12.5 kilometers equals how many meters? Now this number is not as easy to work with as the three kilometers in number one. But what we can do here, we can move the decimal three times to the right in order to multiply that number by 1,000. When we multiply by 1,000, we push each digit to the left three places. This will increase the value of that number by 1,000, or in other words, we are multiplying it by 1,000. So again, what we can do, we can move the decimal three times to the right in order to shift all of our digits three places to the left and give us the correct answer. So let me rewrite 12 and 5 tenths here. And let's move the decimal once, twice, and three times to the right. We can fill these gaps with zeros and we have our answer, 12,500. So 12.5 kilometers equals 12,500 meters. Let's try that same strategy for number one and see if we still get 3,000. So I will rewrite three here and the decimal goes after a whole number. Let's move the decimal three times to the right. So once, twice, and then three times. Fill these gaps with zeros and we get 3,000 that way as well. So to recap, when we go from kilometers to meters, we multiply by 1,000 and we can move the decimal three times to the right in order to multiply a number by 1,000. Let's move on to number three where we have 7,000 meters equals how many kilometers. So each group of 1,000 meters equals a kilometer. So how many thousands are in 7,000? In other words, 7,000 divided by 1,000. That gives us seven. 7,000 meters equals seven kilometers. So when we go from meters to kilometers, we divide by 1,000. Let's move on to number four, where we have 34,580 meters equals how many kilometers? So meters to kilometers, we need to divide by 1,000. Now this number is not as easy to work with as the 7,000 meters in number three, where we used mental math in order to divide by 1,000. What we can do here, we can move the decimal three times to the left that's going to divide our number by 1,000. When we divide by 1,000, we push or shift each digit to the right three places. This is going to give us 1 1,000th of the value of our original number. In other words, we are dividing by 1,000. So let's move that decimal three times to the left in order to divide by 1,000. So 34,580. The decimal goes at the end of a whole number and we will move it once, twice, and three times to the left. 
So the decimal is going to go in between the 4 and the 5, and we get 34 and 58 hundredths, or 34.58. 34,580 meters equals 34.58 kilometers. Now, I did not include this zero in the final answer because zeros to the right of a decimal do not change the value of that decimal. So typically, we do not include them because, again, they don't change the value, so we leave them off. If you were to leave that zero on, it would still be equivalent. It would still be correct, but again, typically, we don't include them. So there you have it. There's how you convert between kilometers and meters. If we're going from kilometers to meters, we multiply by 1,000. And we can do that by moving the decimal three times to the right. If we're going from meters to kilometers, we divide by 1,000. And we can do that by moving the decimal three times to the left. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.